Niha. My name is Shai Dadush. I had two passions. One, to play football. The second, for computer programming. I traveled around the world and went to many stadiums and noticed that they all have the same problem. And I think by using CTERV, we can solve that problem. My name is Shai Dadush. I know my name sounds like Shai, but I'm not really that shy. I'm the co-founder of CTERV, grew up in Israel, now live in New York City. I'm here to show you a solution to a problem that every stadium around the world have and every fan around the world would love to use. So let me give you a try of a little taste of what seat serve is all about. You stay seated and we deliver to you food, drinks, and merchandise right to your seat, just like we do in the stadiums. Now That's you're feeling cool. like the lucky Thank fans wow. that use seat serve. Thank you. Now, I know it's hard to go back, but imagine that you're sitting in a stadium without sea turf. 30 minutes into the game, they're getting hungry. So now you're facing with the ultimate fan dilemma. Should you stay seated and hungry? Or like myself, you're gonna go spend 20 minutes in line just to get something to eat. The good news is that with sea turf, there is no dilemma. You're staying seated and we deliver everything right to your seat. So what is CTERV? We build a full enterprise level solution that allow any stadium to deliver food, drinks, and merchandise to every seat in the house. By using our load balancing and optimization algorithms, we're making sure every order we delivered as quickly and as efficiently as possible. This is a very special service. 我想首先想问一下，声音为什么想到要做这样一个服务？呃，你是不是一个很爱看比赛的人 ？My background is is technology. I uh I started to code when I was six years old, but when I was eleven, my father decided that I'm sitting on the computer too much, and I gotta go outside a little more. So he he sent me to play football. So I have a little bit of both worlds. That's how we, we have this passion. I watch this uh, a lot, uh, football in a lot of stadiums all over the world, and they all have the same problem. So I think with Cicero, we can solve that problem. I want to ask you, what is your solution, your solution? So we build uh, four different apps. The first app is for the fan, like you can see here. They can place an order, see the status of the order, and see how quick it's going to deliver, get real-time updates. The second app is for the concession. It's going to be in the kitchen, where the kitchen is going to get uh, orders, they can fulfill it, and then call for a pickup. And the third app is for the runner, like you can see here. They're going to wear it on their wrist, and they get real-time updates on where they need to pick it up and where they need to drop it off. And the fourth app we built is for the concession manager. So if there's an order that is being delayed or there's any issues, the concession manager get an alert. Go to this kitchen, see what's the status with, it, with this order so we can make sure every order is being delivered in a fashionable way. How does the, the customer get the app and when? Fans in a stadium are what's called in marketing captivated audience. They're sitting there, they have nowhere to go. Uh, what we're doing with the stadiums, we're putting stickers on the back of the seats, we're putting flyers like the one you just got. In addition, we have signs that during recess, people go with the signs to make awareness. How many people are installing the app? We're seeing 5% adoption rate. That means that 5% of people that sit in, in sections that has seat serve use the app to order their food. That's an amazing number for just to start. Now, we uh, after what time period was that, roughly? Uh, we, we had four games so far. Four games. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 你怎么收费呢? We have two business models. The first is uh, as we do in the U.S. In the U.S., uh, we're we're giving everything the stadium needs for free. Software, hardware, helping them train the employees, even with marketing campaigns, we we cover all the costs. 
And then we charge the fan what we call a convenience fee. Could be a dollar, could be three dollars, could be five dollars. It depends on the order of the, and on the size of the order. It depends on which city and in what sports. In in Europe uh, and stadiums in Europe, do you want to use this service? We're doing it as a software as a service, where uh, we're charging them by the size of the stadium. So if it's a 50 seat stadium, we're going to charge them a euro per seat per season or two euros per seat per season. 你说的，你其实你的客户是这些 enterprise， 就是这些场馆，对吧？那这些场馆用了你的解决方案以后，对他有什么样的帮助？ It's it's uh, it's uh, premature right now to know exactly how much we're increasing the sales, but we're seeing people that order twice a game, and usually people don't order twice a game. We're we're, we're enabling a lot of cool features, uh, such as if there is a goal, a touchdown, a home run, we're sending a push notification to the fans saying, hey. Times for a cheers with a Heineken or with a Bud Light, or uh, if someone orders a beer, 15 minutes goes by, his phone vibrates. Do you want a refill? Yes. Paid. It's on its way. And we have a lot of those、uh, marketing abilities that we're building into the app, and, and we're bundling it for the stadiums. You want to enter the Chinese market, right? I want to tell you, because in China, many sports stadiums, in the game time between the matches, they should not eat food. In fact, they should not eat food. 不可以吃东西的，其实这是完全两种不同的市场。我不知道你打算怎么样做。We don't say that we know the market well enough, and that's the reason we need a local partner. No one knows to do marketing better than the local partners. Now, if there are some stadiums that won't allow it, that's fine. We don't need to be in every stadium. We wish to be in every stadium, but we don't need a lot to be successful. And we're looking at this service as a global brand. China.、Uh, I know that the Chinese government just decided that they want to increase、uh, the the quality of the football, the soccer here in China, because it's. I, I know it's it's a it's a mission now. So I'm sure that more more money and more、uh, resources would go to that, and hopefully food will go into that equation as well. I think you should be careful. He knows too much. 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 Too Start and test this for a year, two years, where you're not going to be sitting in the same seat maybe in two years. Or let us do the hard work. We're going to give you everything for free, and and you can make money next month. So this is the trade-off. Now, in the future, would they try to kick us out? I don't know. I hope we're going to be strong enough. We're also working with strategic part,、uh, partners. We're working with the concession companies that they have. 60 stadiums, but again, they're not the tech company. They know how to sell food, and we're a technology company. That's how we're addressing it. Okay. Uh, Shay, I think your idea is very interesting. You know, in China, there was a tradition of going to the stadiums. We went to the stadiums to see the game. There was a man with a black hat, wearing a hat, holding a cup of tea, giving you water and giving you water. Actually, his return is the same as two stadiums, two stadiums, which is what you just said, one euro, two euro. 我觉得中国人有这个消费传统。如果我是此刻坐在体育场馆里，我会很需要你的服务，所以我愿意支持你。谢谢。Yes. Thank you. 我的一切疑问就是刚才我说的，就是这个市场啊，到底是不是有真的有这个需求？我觉得可能这个行业你说的美国市场可能会有这些需求，因为中国市场现在确实是有一些这个我们说不一定你能够吃那么多东西或者买那么多东西，在中国的很多的这个呃这个场馆里面去，呃。但是我觉得你们东西还是比较不错，呃，目前来说，可能我觉得我还需要再看一看，所以说我暂时不投这一票。对不起。哦、oh, ，Peter， 你这一票很关键。You had to leave me with the casting vote, didn't you? Shy, 
Let me ask you, can this be a billion dollar business? 100%. Why? Yes. Because there are a lot of hungry fans all over the world every day. If you go to the US, you go into a sports bar, there are games on every day, different stadiums everywhere. Okay. I'm not sure of that. Okay. But I want to have a chance to talk about you with the team. So I'm going to push you into the maybes by giving you a yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We, we ex uh, expect to be uh, one of the finalists here. Uh, we want to be, we think we have a good idea, a good solution, and we hope to be there. 